All right, YouTube, earlier, late yesterday, but technically earlier today, it was reported that the IRS is indeed going to investigate the Clinton Foundation. Uh, essentially, what they had was a pay-to-play scheme, as they put it, uh, where somebody sort of buys in and they get a favor back. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's corruption. It's the way things work. Now, the Clinton Foundation, if, if it was involved with this, and I'm sure that it was, I'm also pretty sure Clinton will be exonerated once again. Uh, they'll investigate. The IRS itself will do a sloppy job. They'll make sure that they cover up anything incriminating and, you know, Clinton will come out smelling like a rose. This is what happened with the FBI investigating her emails. It's what always happens regarding the Clintons. Even if this did happen, and it probably did, though, we have to remember that this is essentially the way the government does business. This is one of our biggest economic problems is kickbacks given to some company or selling donates to a politician. They then get a fucking kickback, either directly or through some foundation. They get a government no-bid contract. It's like all these military contractors. It's the exact same thing. The fact that Clinton was involved with Uranium One giving favorable sort of sale arrangements of U.S. uranium to a Russian firm, to the Russian Atomic Energy Program, the fact that that's there is, is probably a little bit more disconcerting than, oh, well, you know, money was embezzled. You know, Bill Clinton paid himself too large a salary. They didn't disclose this fund. Okay, whatever. We know money disappears. Um, all the time within anything that involves politicians. That's that's just par for the course. It shouldn't be happening. It's blatantly illegal. It's also completely unethical, but it happens with Republicans, Democrats, and everybody else under the sun. It happens in other countries. It happens here. Get fucking used to it, because even if you had like a libertarian overthrow of the government and things went back to being like classic liberalism and we didn't have moral laws and corporate prisons and stuff and we didn't have a drug war, even then this sort of kickback would still happen. It would just be a little bit more hush hush potentially. Uh, the big concern for me is, of course, the uranium sales, uh, specifically uranium one has uh, has sort of uranium mines, I believe, in the western side of the United States as well. And so they got sort of uh, expanded government support to continue mining, to funnel it and sell it to Russia at a discounted price uh, after donating to the Clinton Foundation. Uh, it's rather worrying, you know, when this sort of thing goes on. It's especially funny, though. I think this is probably the kicker. The DNC right now is trying to say Trump, Putin and Trump are best friends and Putin's trying to stick his dick in the U.S. election and get Trump elected because he knows Trump will play softball with him or something. Uh, then you have the Russians, their actual nuclear program potentially, uh, deriving direct benefit from the Clinton Foundation. I don't think that it's Trump that Putin wants at the helm. Additionally, talk about NATO a little bit later. Um, that in, that is involved too. When Trump proposes overhauling NATO, it's not a bad idea because the Russians responded to the threat of NATO as a military alliance primarily geared towards deflecting against a major opponent, an actual standard military force, a standing army run by a nation, by simply sparking a bunch of proxy wars instead, realizing it draws the United States in and the U.S. exhausts itself paying a great deal of money with its massive appar military apparatus, uh, draining its economy in the meantime. This is now the new strategy of the Eastern world against the United States. The Chinese are uh, helpfully playing along as well. The BRICS sort of stuff, it finances all the international terrorism and the criminal syndicates. And the U.S. government hasn't helped itself by keeping the drug war up and not expanding uh, domestic energy production. If we did that, we, could, we don't, wouldn't even need to overhaul NATO. We could shrink NATO's overall force and it wouldn't even make a difference because we wouldn't have many of these problems. Um, but as far as the Clinton Foundation goes, there is a slightly higher chance that Hillary would face some sort of charges uh, for this as opposed to the emails and stuff. We all know how that was going to go. There's a slightly higher chance of that um, because I would assume that there would be more of a likelihood of a paper trail leading directly to something Clinton has done that's untowards. That being said, the Clintons are masters at covering their tracks. They have been for decades, since the early days of the 90s, the late 80s, that sort of era. As such, I don't think that anybody, no matter how corrupt and criminal they obviously are, the Clintons probably haven't left a trail of crumbs back to them. If anyone gets indicted or questioned, 
or it's found that they did something unethical or they have to pay a fine or whatever it won't be the clintons it'll be some staffer it'll be some lawyer or accountant or some or the night janitor it'll be somebody like that within the clinton foundation again though as with all of as with benghazi as with the email scandal as with everything else involving the clintons the real hit to her campaign as always is not well she's going to be sitting in a jail cell while campaigning it's not she's going to have to shell out 10 million in fines and she won't have that money to do other stuff with it's not well the irs is going to come out and directly condemn her and say oh they were evading taxes or they uh, they gave nuclear stuff to the Russians and then it was turned into a weapon or something like that. That won't happen. What will happen is that the public, when this hits the more mainstream news, right now it's like Daily Caller, Zero Hedge, stuff like that. When it hits the more mainstream news, probably tomorrow in the media cycle then, it's going to overshadow the last day of the DNC at least a little bit on the tail of the DNC leaks and we're going to get more DNC leaks soon, I predict. Uh, and what will end up happening is that public perception, there's a reason right now why the vast majority of independents, if they're voting for the two-party system anyway, are voting for Trump. There's a reason for that, that they're not voting for Hillary, uh, because she has, she's seen as so untrustworthy by so many people. There are people that deeply disagree with Trump's policies, but they dislike Hillary on such a visceral level that they're willing to vote for Trump just to keep her out of the White House. I think the real protest vote this season will be more in favor of Trump and and sort of the paleocon Republican Party at this point uh, than it would be for the Democrats as it might have been in the past when they'd be seen as outsiders or they're the party of the people. I don't think people see it that way after what happened to Sanders with the DNC leaks, after what Clinton has been involved in. The Democratic Party has gone from the party of, of the little guy to just the party of pandering and and corporate interventionism and being backed by large banks when you have a republican candidate who's independently wealthy yes but receives relatively few corporate donations it begins to look a little bit conspicuous i think that trump doesn't even give a fuck if anybody donates to him from that level i think he'd much rather have grassroots donations and be outraised by several times uh, because he realizes that public perception will then slowly shift towards well he's He's not the one taking this billionaire's money. He's not the one taking that corporate dude who dumped all the toxic waste in this river's money. It's Clinton who's doing that. And so you get a situation where Hillary erodes further by default in comparison to the other candidate. Uh, but no, I don't expect it to lead to... Um, please, people have to stop this pie-in-the-sky sort of wishful thinking attitude by which something happens, a scandal involving the Clintons, and all you see on Drudge or Breitbart or wherever is, oh, Hillary will go to jail for real this time. It's probably not going to happen. There's the slimmest of chances that she gets held accountable for any individual thing that she does. She's so corrupt. She does unlawful things on such a regular basis that she's turned it into a form of science. And all other politicians that are corrupt really want to learn about the Hillary and Bill method because they know that it's time-tested and proven over several decades to work every single time. There's no way you get caught. You just make sure that the little people who do get caught and take the fall for you, if there's even an investigation in the first place, or an indictment in the first place, are well paid and they won't blab about what you actually did. What about that, uh, that uh, maintenance worker or whatever the fuck he was, the techie that got questioned by the FBI? It took the fifth a couple times, actually. Uh, but got hauled in uh, and then more or less cooperated with the FBI. Do you think he was well paid to keep his mouth shut about maybe certain important issues regarding Hillary's email server? Of course he was. Probably got a million bucks for that. He's thinking, woo, I can go to I can go to Jamaica now. I can go smoke weed. Oh, I'm I'm gonna go fucking move to Chile or something like that. I'm gonna go live on the beach in my little hut and eat coconuts all day. That's what he was thinking. Maybe he got more than that. Maybe he got $10 million. You think the Clintons give a fuck? They're embezzling hundreds of millions a year through the Clinton Foundation, apparently. And the IRS probably will declare it all above board. Or if they hate her, they'll do what the FBI did. The IRS's director will come out and say, yeah, well, any reasonable individual would know this was wrong. They didn't declare this. They didn't file this paper. It's This is questionable. It's, you know, it's all fucked up, but we're not going to recommend criminal charges. And then Loretta Lynch will come out once again and get questioned by Congress. They'll be like, oh, we meet again. 
and that's probably what will end up happening. And that's that's probably the worst case scenario for Clinton. If, if that happens, if the IRS, in addition to the FBI, comes out and holds a press conference like Comey did, then her career is over. She will lose the presidency. Of course, then again, they'd have to conduct the entire investigation before the November elections. I'm not sure that'll happen. If they do, it'd be front page news. It'd be real funny to see. Even if she's in the lead at the time, she'd crash and burn so quickly. She'd be at sub Gary Johnson support at that point. Um, we, but let's face it, we all know she's corrupt. We all know when she opens her mouth, she's lying. Um, she doesn't help by being technologically inept and having apparently technologically inept staff that make cringeworthy, like, manufactured meme material. It doesn't really help her cause to look so fucking boring. But she's probably not going to go to prison over this, let's face it. That's about all. Peace out.